Um, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And on behalf of my research team from the University of Adelaide, um, we want to sincerely thank the Brain Foundation and the donors um, for enabling us to continue on with our work into traumatic brain injury. So as you have already heard, and most of you would know, traumatic brain injury is a leading killer of our young people under the age of 45. And to date, there is absolutely no therapeutic intervention. And this is what gets us out of bed every morning and our lab, and that drives us to find, hopefully, to bridge that gap, to find that wonder drug that can save all of these young people's lives. Approximately 10 years ago, we were the first group that actually discovered that a protein that is normally found within the brain and within the cells of the body is in fact neuroprotective following brain injury. This was very surprising to us that a protein that was already in our bodies actually had this ability to upregulate or increase its expression after injury as a very early acute response to brain injury. This protein is called the amyloid precursor protein. This results that we found back 10 years ago formed a very nice and successful collaboration with researchers from the University of Melbourne, Professor Roberto Capai's team, who are experts in the biology regarding the amyloid precursor protein. So with ourselves, who has expertise in neurotrauma, as well as the researchers who have expertise in APP biology, it enabled us to further extend these studies. And what we found over the last recent years is we've been able to, what, what, we, what we think, we've located the very small region of this protein that has the strongest, most potent neuroprotective activity when it's administered in experimental studies. This is really exciting work for us and that study back approximately eight years ago was funded by the Brain Foundation and enabled us, as was mentioned earlier, to be able to be used as seed funding and also to get further big NH and MRC funding. So where, what are we going to do with the, with the beautiful funds we've received today? And that is that we are now, with the experts from the University of Melbourne, we are manipulating this smaller region of this protein to make it even more efficacious after injury. And this work will be undertaken by my PhD student who is in the audience with me tonight, Stephanie um, Plummer. So hopefully this um, next step will mean that we can further bridge that gap between our experimental studies and that whole bench to bedside and we can then enable or move forward towards translational um, research. So again, to Brain Foundation, thank you very much and it is actually my birthday today so what a wonderful birthday gift to receive. So <laughs> thank you.